Hey guys, this is Constance with Charming Custom Crafts, and I have another hat to show you. Um, this is my hat number four. I did um, four hats, one for my daughter, a baby hat, um, and two adult hats for my mom, and then this one, and then I'm working on a couple other things that I'll be sharing. Um, but this one's for my mother-in-law, and I'm trying to get this done because my daughter is going to visit with her grandmother. She's flying to Cleveland to go to my mother-in-law, and then they're going to D.C. for the women's thing on um, <clears throat> this weekend after the inauguration, which by the time I post this video will probably be after, and then there's, she's going to go up to visit um, her aunt and uncle that was here in the summer, and then her grandma's going to take her up to New York to see a Broadway play, which is my daughter's absolute dream. Um, so she's going to be gone for like nine days. Um, but it's actually saving me um, some postage because I have a couple things that I'll be sharing um, that I was going to mail to her and my daughter's able to take to her so I'm saving on about $13 <clears throat> but one she'll actually be able to use one my daughter will actually finally be able to use the hat and then my mother-in-law will love this because it's her absolute freaking favorite color um, but this is the hat that I made my mother-in-law and if you notice it is different from the others because I put a binding or band around it and the one thing about this knitted um, hat that I've made, I've like fell in love with you guys. I, I made a trip to like Joanne's and I bought some more looms because I'm working on a couple things that you guys are going to see. Two of them are going to take me forever. One, I'm not even a third of the way through uh, and it's for my husband. But um, you'll you'll love it when it gets to it. My husband's like totally amazed by me and, um, and my mother has now seen her hat and has totally flipped out nobody's ever made her one so you know she crochets and she's in love with this she she actually does not work work with the Bernath she doesn't like it but I love the stuff especially for the winter hats because they're like super soft and very very warm um, but I did not put a pom-pom on it because it's not my mother-in-law but this is her let me see if I can show you the color in the sunlight because it is like the prettiest red and my mother-in-law loves this like a good cherry red her favorite color and um, I think she'll like it. This one took, my mom's hat was 65 rows. Um, and then this one was 77 or 78 rows because of the band. I went 24 in and then binded it. Um, I'm impressed with the binding because it is sort of seamless. I mean, you can't, I mean, you could see it because it's thicker, but you can't see the edging. Um, but if I put the hat, let me put the phone down because my table's covered with projects. Um, and I'm not just doing this. I got tons of other projects. I told you I'm like a stockpile. Um, but this is the inside of it. And even with that, she can flip it and reverse it. But, you know, you can see how it's combined, but you can't, like, see a seam seam, um, which I love. Um, so I know she'll like it. So she can actually reverse it from the ribbing on the front. Um, though, even, even with the little tie here, you can't even really see that. I mean, I just pointed it out to you. Um, but I think she'll like it. She has no idea that this is coming. She has no idea I've been knitting. So I might actually surprise her too. Um, I know. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. And no more than I did my second hat and shared one of my BFFs. And she's like, hey, can you make me a baby hat? So I got my first order. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap. I didn't even make two when I got the order. Um, so this is my mother-in-law's hat. So I'm kind of having a little bit of fun. Um, I will tell you that I am going to be working on a blanket, uh, a throw blanket afkin for my couch. Um, I did get the first Bernath for I'm using Bernath, but I'm going to be doing different stitching. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that one, but it, it will take me a long time. Um, so that's going to be the next couple months by time. It would be usable for the winter. But it, you know, it gets chilly here and everybody likes being cozy on the couch. So, and I've gone through, I don't know how many blankets. And they get ripped up around here. And then we got so many novelties that... I like them, but I don't like them constantly on the couch. Um, I guess it's a military thing. I've got to wear them, and um, I like everything even. And and I wasn't always like this. It's a military thing. I like to be able to look at furniture and go, okay, um, I don't need a three-piece set, like a couch, a chair, and a love seat, because when we move a lot, I have to look, okay, where would this go, where would this go, where would this go, and I hate odd furniture. So majority of time, and I'm not even a big fan of sectional, as, and I, I got this one. I like the theater seating, the last couple of couches we had. Um, the first one I had lasted almost 10 years, and I loved it. By the way, don't ever buy bonded 
Uh, the one, first one I got was not bonded and was fabulous. Uh, the second one I bought with my settlement um, and I paid a lot of money for it and it didn't even last a year and it was the one with the speaker system and um, lighting and massage and all that. Don't buy it and buying the um, electrical on it is good but buying the fabric stuff for the leather I found out and if you guys ever buy the furniture with leather um, or upholstery just know anything that your head or body touches is not actually covered um, so I pitched a fit about that and within seven months they had to replace two of the chairs because my head my husband you know shaved his head and the whole back of the head was like gone um, goes to show that you know um, businesses do not uh, honor their word um, we're waiting on buying new furniture we bought this used for like 400 bucks I mean, you know but I don't know I mean after buying so much new furniture I've actually got to the point where like why until we retire um, but we'll be buying a lot of new furniture when we move um, but it just depends um, we're waiting on the list to come out now to either be in a few weeks or well between two weeks and six weeks at the latest like nine to ten weeks um, so we're waiting on promotion list, and if he doesn't make this year, he'll, I'm going to wait one more year. But if everything goes right, it will be moving from late spring to uh, late summer. Um, so I'm kind of excited because I really like to go overseas. Imagine what I could do and give away, guys. And I definitely probably do video blogs on it because my, you know, being uh, our last move, I definitely, if we get to go overseas, I'll be traveling a lot because I know... Uh, I'm already going to be 42 at uh, the end of this month, actually, in about two, 11 days, um, which is today's the 19th. So, um, when am I going to get a chance? I'm going to be in my mid-40s, and, 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 you know, if I can get a chance to go to Europe, I'll never be able to do this again, and why not do it before we retire? And then there's a lot of places in Europe that I know where to go get stuff really cheap, like crystal chandeliers that are like 1500 and up here here that are like $99 in Poland and um, like I have my grandparents cuckoo clock that they got when they my great grandparents that because um, my German we are German background like two generations so um, I want to take it and get it fixed um, I want a big, big grandfather clock by the way you know how expensive those are they're like 300 bucks there and then I'm gonna get my like Middle Eastern wool rugs and they're like a hundred dollars um, so I'll be like buying a bunch of stuff. Definitely want a German shrunk. Um, and if you guys don't know what that is, you know, comment below and I'll tell you what it is. Uh, a very badass handmade piece of wood that's an entertainment unit. It could be a table. It's a bar. It's all built in. It's badass. Um, they're expensive here if you get them here because, uh, they're far and in between. Um, but anyway, so, you know, I wanted to share this with you guys and, um, I have another thing that I'm pushing trying to get done um, before she leaves so that it can go with it. Um, it's part of the event that I told you guys about. So anyway, um, here's the hat for my mother-in-law. Let me know below whether or not you think that she will like it. And if you see pulls, it's not pulls. The stitchings are just uh, looser in some spot, but all she has to do is wash it. Obviously, it's hand wash only. So let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Hugs. Squirrel. Bye.